Hi guys, the AMD FX8350 stock fan, stock cooler fan saga continues. I went back to the shop and got a replacement fan and got a replacement fan. Now, while trying to find the specifications for this one, I ran across the following product number, which is FHS-A7020B-S880. And that product suspiciously looks like exactly like, not sure though, right, a cooling block plus fan that came with this AMD boxed CPU set. Uh, so, now, is it so that AMD in their wisdom sub subcontracted huh, the cooling block plus fan out to Cooler Master, since their name is on the retention bracket for the fan, on the cooler block of course, and Cooler Master in their wisdom huh, subcontracted the cooling block plus fan out to Delta Electronics Inc. Now I'll read, huh? first of all let's take a look, you can see they're differently sized. So, this product number is AFC0712DD DC12V 0.45A 9S51. Seems to be dot 45 amps, and this one seems to be dot 55 amps. So, zero dot, you know as with this one. This is the difference. One is bigger than the other, but this one has an AMD sticker on it, while this one doesn't. So let's uh, go and take a look at the technical specifications. So what you see here seems suspiciously like the cooling block plus retention bracket plus fan that came with the AMD FX8350 boxed set. Now please note the height of this fan. And let's take a look at the specifications. So what you see here is at 6750 RPM it almost has an airflow of 49 cubic feet per minute. Also note the depth of the fan at 20 millimeters as well as the TDP of 125 and 140 watts. Now the AMD FX8350 has apparently in the specifications a TDP of 125 watts yet According to rumors, huh? it puts out 140 watts TDP. So, as advertised on this page via its specifications, this set should be adequate even if it runs hotter than the 125 watts TDP up to 140 watts TDP. Now, once again the height, once again the height here, 20 millimeters. This is not the fan that was supplied with mine. My box set from AMD, right? So this is 15 millimeters. This looks suspiciously like the one that was mounted on the cooling block in a sealed package. So the model part number verifies that. AFB 0712 VHB. And take a look here. 52 RPM producing 45.45 .45 cubic feet per minute at that speed, of course. That doesn't match up with 
this airflow nor this speed and I'm wondering if I'm looking at these specifications and uh, there doesn't seem to be a max RPM but this thing is pulse width modulated <clears throat> so I would guess this is the max RPM and if you take in that this is the max airflow did they crank up the speed on this 15 millimeter huh, fan to get to the required cubic feet per minute as is stated on this package right but these are the product specifications now take a look at this document specification for approval that somehow is using the AFB 0712 VHB with an addition of AFBS Rev 00 on some type of application and it states that at 4 5400 rpm with a plus and minus of 10 percent it produces almost 41 cubic feet per minute with a minimal of almost 37 cubic feet per minute so this is still the 15 millimeter one now as stated before my shop provided me with two replacement parts and this is the second one the AFC 0712 DD without addition of TP10 so this is once again a a sheet for specification for approval and it states not only the lower amperage of the uh, the deeper one but also at 5000 rpm plus minus 10 percent it produces 47 cubic feet per minute well close enough at least with a minimal of 43 cubic feet per minute well, close enough. So these specifications for the uh, the deeper one, quote unquote, or in this case, as it is shown on this uh, specification for approval sheet, seem to be better, which is logical because of fan design. But still, disregarding this, looking at the 15 millimeter which doesn't match up with this thing as it's presented over here with of course the Delta sticker somehow on the fan itself what's going on because something doesn't match up now in my estimation either Delta Cooler Master or AMD changed the fan and normally if you look at this it should be adequate even for 140 watt TDP CPU which of course the 8350 officially shouldn't be but still it runs hot so let's say it might be now with this 15 millimeter fan however 15 millimeter depth I think I'm afraid it's my personal belief opinion whatever you want to call it that this stock Kura plus fan plus retention bracket as is provided in the box set is not adequate for this CPU and if you look at the packaging itself it doesn't come in a nice tin like it used to do it comes in a cardboard box it doesn't even have with the 15 millimeter fan it doesn't even have an AMD sticker on here and if you look at older videos I'm guessing you'll see that it's a different fan in the original tin boxed uh, versions of the boxed FX8350 set so somebody is saving a couple of pennies or somebody can't deliver the proper fan it doesn't really matter in my estimation this boxed set is not adequate so or at least uh, the stock cooler with the stock fan with the stock retention bracket that states cooler master here which of course on the photo it doesn't but hey this little product doesn't meet its own specifications at least if this is the proper one which I think it is look at the watts 
But, you know, the saga continues, I guess. Hey, um, thanks for watching the video. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down at your pleasure. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And bye-bye.